Rangers. I don't care about Jordan. All right, we've stopped at the service station. We've been going to Newcastle for two hours now. We've only got about an hour and a half when we get back in the car. Not as long as I thought it'd take. It's absolutely pouring it down with rain and it has been the entire time. I think it's like nine in the morning or something. So early start, got up at seven. Going to Greg's right now. <laughs> All right, we've arrived at the hotel before the game. We've just got here into Newcastle. We've got about two hours to kick off. Not a bad hotel there, hey? Uh, so yeah, we go to the stadium now, come Villa. We have made the three or four hour journey here to Newcastle. Today we are outside St James's Park for Newcastle versus Aston Villa. Today for Villa it's going to be a real tough one. I think Newcastle have only lost two games in the entirety of 2022 here at their home pitch. I think they've only lost to Cambridge and to Liverpool. But today it's going to be a tough one. We just beat Brentford 4-0, uh, probably the best performance of our season after second Steven Gerrard. But Newcastle are fourth in the league. They beat Tottenham last weekend 2-1. I think it's going to be a real tough test today. I'm going to go for 1-1. One, one, so that was a fucking lie. We'll see what happens. We need to have a good big performance and uh, yeah, let's get inside the stadium. Two Newcastle fans here today. Villa at home for you. What's going to happen? 3-0, they're doing easy. 3-0, yeah. Wilson Who's going to score the in. goals? Bruno, Wilson, double. Yeah, what do you think? I think Shearer's going to come off the bench to score the winner. Shearer's going to come off the bench to score the winner, really, yeah. Right. <laughs> right. No, a win, a win. Win, yeah. Uh, obviously, you're fourth in the league right now. Yeah. Are you happy with your season so far? No, we do better than we top. Yeah? Do you think? Do you think? For yeah. me, the season couldn't have went any better. Couldn't have gone any better? Years up. Okay, but, uh, Top four finish. Top four finish. Fair enough. Had ourselves a little restaurant before the game. Mum, today you're back on the away days. What's your thoughts on the drive down and your thoughts on Newcastle? The drive here was great because Robbie was driving. I've come and got my cocktail and my dirty fries. Oh, it's good with Newcastle. Yeah, yeah, nice. We've got about an hour and a half till kick off. Come on. This guy's all right as well. We're here today, two Newcastle fans. Villa at home, what's going to happen today? Hopefully a 2-0 win, mate. 2-0 win, who's going to score the goals? Uh, Miggy, Callum Wilson. Yeah, what, do you see them the same? I see them 2-0, Miggy and Wilson. Fair enough, and uh, are you happy with Eddie Howe so far this season? Obviously you're fourth in the league. Yeah, he's been great, mate, to be honest, yeah. He's been happy, to be honest, like, yeah. yeah. Fair enough, and where do you think you're going to end the season? Realistically, top 10, I'd like to finish top 10, but I might want to get you a bit of push, like. Yeah? I'd honestly think... Definitely top seven. Definitely top, top seven. seven. Fair enough. Here we go. There's the, the horses that the Geordies absolutely love. As we go into the ground. Here we go. The dreaded stairs. The stairs. Here we go. We have got the Villa sticker there. We have got the famous stairs that you have to go to get to Newcastle. I didn't come here last season, but oh my God. I think I'm going to die after this. I'm not very fit, so. Three hours later. Oh, if you ask me, that's a bit overrated. And I managed that quite well. So what's going to happen today? I think. Go on out now. We're going to win. 2-0. 2-0, yeah. Just come for a 4-0 win. Yeah. Oh, my God. But Billy Wokes will be here. Yeah. Well today. And that may be a little curse on today. But up the villa. Up the villa. Right. Up the villa. 1-0 villa. Yeah. Nil-nil. One nil. One nil. One nil. Villa. We're gonna hang on last minute. Yeah. 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 It is very high, it's as high as they say at St James's Park. It's actually, I feel a bit more dizzy than anything, but today, hopefully we get, I just want a goal today, to be honest. Minimum, I want a good performance. I'm not there, Villa. Villa! Villa! Kick off is about to begin, come on the Villa. We started the game 
played well the first five, ten minutes. We started playing well. Let's keep it going. Where's your face? Come on. into the game. We've started pretty well to be fair. It's been quite an even game. Going forward, Buendia looks electric. Bailey looks up for it today, but we just need to watch Newcastle on this right hand side. Every every uh, attack is coming down from Newcastle from Trippier. So we just need to win those midfield battles and hopefully we should be okay. So let's keep it up. We're playing alright. Come on. Right. So we've got to hotel tonight in Newcastle. And there is a free bar at the hotel between half past five and half past seven. My plan was the game finishes at the five o'clock, get out of here by about ten past, speed walk to the hotel and get to my free drinks. Although I appreciate the players may be injured, if they're injured, just get off the pitch because I've got a bar to get to. For context, though, we've had like three injuries already so far. So. And it's 32 minutes in and I bet we've still got another 15 minutes extra time to Come on! Come on. Too many touches inside the box. Right, 10 minutes out of time, about five minutes in, Newcastle got a penalty. I think it's just hit the arm of Ashley Young. It did look like a handball to be honest. So. Oh, exactly. We were definitely Ah, oh, God. Just before half time is not what we needed. We've actually played a right in this first half. So. Oh, please, please. <laughs> half time, Newcastle 1 Villa 0. We started the game pretty well, and we throughout the entire, the entire half we played pretty well. It's just we go forward every play here, walking to play and we're not working the goalkeeper. We barely had a shot on target at point. It's just frustrating because we're getting some really good positions, but we just don't shoot. We just don't try it. Newcastle have been all right. A lot of their players come from the right hand side. It's a decent half. Let's keep it going in the second half. Let's be a little bit more clinical and get a few more shots. Six minutes into the second half, into the game. We started the second half really sloppy, we've not got out. We keep giving the ball away and it's a corner into the box in Trippier. And Wilson just gets his head on it. It's probably deserved to be honest, in the second half we've been really poor, we've not started well. And it's 2-0, we've got a long way to go before we score our so. Just I was talking about the second goal. Joe Linton short, it's a save and he's put the rebound in the box, in the goal and it's 3-0 Newcastle. That's it, game over. What, three hour trip for nothing. Luckily we've got a spa to go to the hotel. 3-0, game over. Seventeen minutes in, we're four 0 down. Amaron's just scored a screamer, top corner, cut inside. We're four 0 down. Everyone's going home. Watkins is the worst striker in the league. Nothing's changed. Four 0 four. What an awful second half. Awful. Even that. We've just given away so many stupid fouls, we give the ball away so many times, we don't do anything with the ball, we're 4 0 down.
it's uh, closer than anything we've had today. Singing this song for about five minutes straight. I don't care about Jordan. We're back in the hotel after the game that you know my mum paid good money for and you know we've just come all the way here and lost 4-0. Four, four I get we haven't really got a proper manager yet, you know, Emery's coming in and I get that, you know, we're still low on confidence but 4-0, really? I thought Newcastle definitely deserved the win, they were really good in the second half but first half we played pretty well, we actually really matched Newcastle, it was actually quite a good game and the second half we just came out, we had no legs, we had no energy, that penalty at the end of the first half really killed the game and Newcastle just absolutely hammered us. 4-0 was a little bit embarrassing. I mean, the Villa fans did kind of save it at the end, just constantly singing. I could literally make a 10-minute video of the Villa fans singing when we were 4-0 down. It was unreal. It was the best part of the game by a mile. I didn't really record too much of it, but... Fair play to Newcastle. I mean, Trippier was great. Almiron scored a screamer. Your defence was solid. We could not break you down. Watkins needs to go. <laughs> Watkins needs to be sold for £20 million and we need to get a new striker. Fair play, Newcastle. The city's pretty nice. I'm in a nice hotel, but please like the video. Please share around because I've drive, what, four hours? It stayed in a fairly expensive hotel to lose 4-0. Villa fans, let me know what you think in the comments. Newcastle fans, smash a like, subscribe if you're new, share the video around. It'd be very much appreciated. And yeah, fair play. We are rubbish. Uh, Man United next. Great. See you soon.